Hello guys, it's Wei Hei, and I'm here to show you how to Thorn Weaver, and uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best, my absolute best, to show you how to use Thorn Weaver. I'm gonna go over the abilities, I'm gonna show you how to use the abilities, I'm gonna show you where to use the abilities, and uh, then I'm gonna jump into a match and um, pretty much show you in action how to use Thornweaver, how I use Thornweaver. Um, I may not be the absolute best Thornweaver in the world, but I do understand it. And I want to share whatever I have learned over the past couple of days playing as a Thornweaver. I enjoy the Thornweaver, therefore I feel like I may be good enough to show you how to use it properly. All right, so here is the lovely, lovely Thornweaver herself. Now she's a she's a gorgeous creature, isn't she? <laughs> she's definitely like I think the best looking character we have. But so the passive is the numbing retaliation. So upon taking direct damage, releases numbing projectiles towards a nearby enemy based on the number of charges stacked over time. So you'll see the little numbing um, stacks, and there's four. I believe. So you will numb people that attack you. It's pretty awesome. Uh, then you have the Verdant Bulwark is the power. So you enter, enter a defensive stance, reducing income and damage. Pressing the power button again releases poisonous darts towards an enemy up to two times. So I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty awesome. And then Rage is just a stronger version of that. Uh, but you can shoot unlimited darts. Can't really do it in free flight, which I'm going to show you, but I'll show you in the combat. So it also increases your your uh, movement speed as well. And your bulwark, uh, reducing damage um, normally, it actually, the rage increases the <laughs> damage reduction. It increases. And also to like, to activate the bramble wall, whenever you want you can just click the bramble wall ability one more time whatever button you use to to activate it you just click it again to make it go off otherwise it will go off automatically when it hits something solid like a wall or a rock or whatever a ground a ground <laughs> it'll hit a ground one ground but yeah that's something i forgot to mention so here we're gonna do bramble wall now i normally do smoke trail uh, but you know, Bramble Wall is new, so we're just gonna go with Bramble Wall. <laughs> now, this is how you can use Bramble Wall. So you just fly up to you know an opening and you just shoot it right there, and uh, you can go through it. And that closes it off for everybody else, though. It's pretty awesome. I'll be honest with you. Um, but yeah, you can just fly through it, and everybody else has to shoot through it. I couldn't really show you that in this f free flight, but maybe on the the combat I can. Now, I'm going to show you, you can also, for whatever reason, you can shoot a Bramble Wall right in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty cool. Um, I use it basically just to get away from people, like I'll shoot it right in front of me. But like a place like this, a cave entrance or an exit, is nasty. <laughs> it's so great. I love doing this. I put two in there. Why not? They seem to last for a long time. So, you can put one right in front of the uh, shield like this, or behind the shield, so if they go in to get the shield, they just get stuck. And, you know, that's always fun. But, yeah, you can get creative. Just get creative with it. Now, here's the dart. So, you activate it, and then you shoot it. You see those little green arrows? Um, I'll show you again. See those two little green arrows? You shoot it. Two shots. And it poisons them, poisons them pretty well. And it does quite a bit of damage. Um, but you only have a certain amount of time after um, you activate Verdant Bulwark to shoot those darts. So whatever ability button you push, you just click it and then click it again to shoot the darts. That's pretty much it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys in action uh, the Thornweaver. Look at that gorgeous woman. Look at that gorgeous dragon. Look at all that gorgeous, gorgeous. You know what I mean? So, we're playing Spoils of War. It's not Gates of Fire, which is where I really excel at with Thornweaver. But, I can still show you guys. You know, still no big deal. 
Okay, so I'm activating my poison spikes just, just by doing that. I click, click. They're getting poisoned right now. They might drop off. We'll see. Yep, it killed them. It does that a lot. Um, it does that a lot. Just kills them when they run off. And uh, you don't really think they're going to die, but they do. It, it does a great amount of damage, honestly. I put a wall up behind me so that uh, you can see. I'll bring it back. There's the wall right there. I think it slowed him down. I had someone behind me, but uh, I could be wrong. Wow. So I'm going to put a wall right here because there's someone behind me. And it does slow him down quite a bit. They're still in there. They might have just turned around. I'm not sure. But that's that's kind of where I like to put if I'm if I'm trying to get away. I use the, the wall more when I'm trying to get away. Oh, okay, look at that. See that? I put the I, I put the uh, the bramble wall right in front of his little place. He couldn't get in. That is hilarious. Okay, so note that. I've never done that before. That's pretty cool. Wow. They have 2000. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. I got to get as much money as I can. They had so much money and I just got a lot of it. I hope I don't die. Just picked up 397 gold. This is really good, actually. I'm going to put put all that back in the bank. We just we just want we just passed them up pretty quick. That was huge. That was a good play. All right, I'm going to hit them with uh, spikes. And here we go. I'm going to put a wall right here. So they can't even get into their own thing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, do that. That's pretty cool. So I hope this video helps you um, in some way, shape or form with a thorn weaver. It's a great class. If you decide to main it, it's going to be great. You can't go wrong with a thorn weaver. It's got decent damage. But overall, it's just really good at doing what it does best with defensives and just really slowing people down and controlling the match, controlling the terrain or whatever you want to say, like the flow of everything you can really mess with people and um, counter whatever they're trying to do. They can't do much if they can't get where they want to go. And if you stop them, that is a big plus in my opinion so if you have any questions about anything else um i probably didn't cover near enough but i tried to do as much as i could just ask in the comments let me know what else i should add to uh maybe a future guide maybe i'll do like an up an update to this uh if i missed anything feel free to just throw it in the comments let me know i'm here bounce it off me bang, 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 bang. And uh, till the next time, I'll see you guys in the skies, okay? Love y'all. Take care. Be safe. Keep flapping them dragon wings. And I'll see ya. Way hey out. <laughs>